Ooh, what kind of bird did you see? Is it a dove? Do you see a birdie dove? What do you think of birdie dove? What do you think? Yeah. See, I need a greenhouse with a stink. That's what I need. Yeah, we should go this way. Okay. Oh, let's look this way. Okay, what's your favorite geranium? Do you have a favorite? Geranium or cat. They're beautiful plants. Look at the pink ones. What do you think? Do you want to see the pink ones? Yeah. Okay. So we love. Okay, biscuits. Woohoo! This is my second round of planting. Oh, yeah. Uh, this spray. I did some of the other sprouts a little soon, so I'm going to show you in a bit that I have basically a greenhouse in my kitchen now. So I am planting um, lupin, which mixed border short-lived perennial. Yeah. Okay. I was just double checking that I'm right about this. So lupins don't like to be transplanted. So I bought the cocoa core little pots that you can pit right in the ground once they sprout because I've really had trouble with germinating lupins of any variety here in this climate. I don't know why. They grow up wild in the mountains here. Um, so these are going to be for gentle things that don't want to be disturbed because I made that mistake with some other flower seeds. And I was like, oh, no, I'll gently transplant them and I'm kind of regretting it. And then I have another tray for some of the things I'm going to start now. Yes, that aren't as gentle. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm pouring out most of the container there. I think I'm going to do three per container. Oh, oh yeah, I'll give you some. Give me one second. Give me one second. Now, I haven't tried with these. Okay, so it says that we can nick this with sandpaper before we start. Should we do that? Yeah! I'm kind of tempted to. So you can either pre-soak these. I think I'm going to pre-soak them. I know, I'm taking them out of the dirt. Because um, I'm a crazy lady. But I kind of feel like I'd rather get these really ready to go. So what I just do is I take our paper towels. They've been well loved up by kiddos. And I stick all the seeds in there. And then I'm gonna soak them just almost as though I was uh, sprouting them for like uh, sandwich sprouts, that kind of thing. I'll show you. Yeah. So, excuse the mess of biscuits, real quick. Uh, I've been soaking these snap pea seeds that I just had extra of. Um, I haven't finished planting them, I went, oh, I better. So let me show you. So I keep the paper towel moist, which takes re-moistening if it takes a while for them to sprout. 
and I wrap them in plastic wrap so that they stay moist because otherwise they dry out instantly. And then you get seeds that look like this. So they're actually start. These took a long time to sprout. They're having a hard go of it. So then we can actually plant these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reuse this saran wrap. And then tomorrow, um, once they've soaked for 24 hours in here, I will. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on a minute. Oh yeah, don't do that. So I also got sunflowers. Now, I haven't done a lot of germinating with sunflowers, but it's on my cut flower list that I wanna grow. Um, yeah, I was right. So sunflowers are one of those ones that's sensitive to transplant. So I'm also gonna put them in here. So I'm kind of doing half lupins, half sunflowers. Um, I could try to sow these direct in my ground, but I'm hoping to get a head start. I'm gonna put my foot on this chair so she doesn't flip backwards. <laughs> um, multitasking as a mom. Uh, if I sow these outside though, I'm not gonna be able to sow them for another like month or more. But I'd like to get a head start because I know a farmer um, who has just had such issues. She grows sunflowers professionally and like last year and the year before, she was just having issue after issue of them taking forever to be able to plant. So I'd rather get them started inside and then take them out and put them in a hoop house and just get them growing. So this is my goal. So these are an heirloom mix of beautiful, I mean, those are just gonna be so pretty. I cannot wait. And they do look different than the ones you're gonna eat. I feel like, um, I'm mean, gonna speak for America, but as America, like you're used to food looking a certain way, and the more I've gardened, the more I realize that's really narrow varieties of plants that actually look like that. I'm gonna do three seeds per because I haven't had great luck with germination on these. Um, and then as I've gardened, I've learned that boy, there's such diversity in what food and plants actually look like. And I know that seems like a simple thing, but just, you know, it was just never something I thought about. And then I'm spraying yeah. it out in case they all germinate. Yeah. Oh, you drink it? Yeah, homemade root beer. Yeah. Homemade root beer. Some yeah. people make alcoholic beverages. We're working on making root beer. One of our goals for our home stand. Oh. Yes, I didn't know you wanted to. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> sunflowers? These are sunflowers, three seeds per pot evenly distributed around, so if they all plant, okay, hold on, like yeah. uh-huh. I like here. No, don't eat it, we put it here. And I just think that's one of my favorite things about gardening, that is discovery. Oh, these varieties of plants. Yeah. Who knew, uh, maybe in other countries there's more varieties of what you can get at the grocery store, but here that is not the case. We might, if we run out of pots, do a fourth. There you go. Uh -huh, that one just gonna have like eight pieces. Oh, thank you. Hold on one second. We might do a couple more because I've only got limited pots, and I really want to. I guess you know what? We could just do all sunflowers on this one, and then I'll buy more for. Wait, can I have other ones? Absolutely. Here, look here. I'll give you some more. Hold on. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, we've got the sunflowers all right. These are heirlooms. These are ancient variety that's just been hanging out, waiting for us to plant it. Yes, I'll give you some. Absolutely. Hold on one second. There you go. Can I pull more? Of course. There you go. Can I pull her more? Do you have shoe pull? Of course. There you go. Did you put them right here? This this one right here needs to. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, you got all the seeds we hid in. No. Oh no. Oh no. You shouldn't be how kind to all about these. These are living seeds. No, but I wanted to learn. Right. Oh, them right here. To a beautiful flower for you to sniff and sniff. Yeah. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Isn't that amazing? They're going to be beautiful flowers. And do you know that not only is it pretty in summer, but then in fall, what they're going to do is they're going to see the birdies. Birdies don't Wait, starve, too. Oh, no, it's dinner time. I'm going to make din din soon, biscuits. But so you know me and my crazy garden. I couldn't resist as soon as we got home from the nursery. Um, and everything oh, planted. Oh, okay, some oh, of these oh, seeds are so dark, they're like the color of my potting soil. Can I hear? That's so funny, they're hard to see. Some of these dark ones, I can't tell which one's covered and which one's not. Oh, don't poke, don't poke. 
Okay, but I keep playing it like. Yeah, I'm gonna plan some more though. Oh, stop, stop, here. Stop, stop. Can you wait and. I can't, I have that seed madness. Now, if I were a smart woman, I would. Yeah, okay. I am marking which side is all planted. Now, stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 my love. Stop, stop. Yeah. So that I don't confuse it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Put that one there. What are these? Oh, hold on one second. Those are peas. Okay. Pea? Oh, no, not those. Okay. So, they look tasty. peas, we can either, well, I guess we could just start in here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. So, I got more Cosmos. Oh, yeah. Can, can you please wait? I wanted to play a hide a little bit, but can you please wait to play? Please? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is fascinating. I'm really curious this year how. Oh, no, 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 Let's stop. Let's stop. Where did it go? Okay. Yep. Let's leave that there. Thank you. Um, how much sooner compared to other farmers on their homesteads we're going to get our things by starting them indoors and kind of doing it indoor no. greenhouse? Uh, if that's going to make a difference. Hey, bud, you just can't break all these. I'm hitting you. Okay. These are these. So I'm going to mark those off. Um, I'm trying some seeds from a local Pacific Northwest brand. My sister highly recommended. Okay, asters. I'm trying to remember if this one. I think. I think these can just go in here. I don't think they need the special seed pot. Um, I also have uh, nasturtium. Um, sewing. Building her homestead from scratch with children involved. Uh, completely, totally relaxing. Like, nothing stressful about it. <laughs> so stressful. Oh my god. You see these single people or young couples um, doing homestead, and I'm like, yeah, that looks really nice and relaxing. Hold on. Okay. Fit one there. Okay, I'll fit one there. Okay, we have a few extra, and I'll get some more pots for that. And this one is, I'm gonna put this here. Okay, so this one is totally full. Good job. Thank you, Maestro. Aw, oh, thank you. Yes. I will press them into the soil. Maybe when the kids go sleep, because. Huh? Okay, so I have asters, I have fava beans. I'm so excited to do fava beans. Now, I've only ever direct sowed fava beans. Hi, my love. Ba, ba, ba. But I know I'm just trying out, ba, ba. starting stuff, and just kind of seeing. I, this is my year of experimentation. Um, I love the size of these beans. Look how juicy this is. This is like some bean stock stuff. This is just my year of experimentation and seeing kind of what works, what doesn't, what gives me a harvest timeline that really works for our homestead. Um, because we're just such newbies to it. And I'm, just, I'm just curious. I'm going to hold some of these seeds back so that I can direct sow them so that I have a comparison. Oh, 
Do you want some? There you go. But I'm genuinely very curious. How many seeds do I have? Okay. I'm going to probably leave the rest there. Um, okay. uh, oh, here's the other one. There. I knew I was missing a seed pack. I couldn't figure out where I put it. So I also got I'm really looking for uh, glass corn. I haven't been able to find it. Um, hey, Mom. I want you to go copy this one. Absolutely, you can. Ooh. Great. Ooh. Hey, okay, I'm not going to start these indoors because I think corn you got to start outdoors. Wait. So temp, but boy, it takes a long time for the soil to get to this temp. How, wait, how long? Do I'm going to wait. This is going to be outside. Um, it's going to be really quite warm for this climate. For that, so I'm gonna, wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on them. Okay. Uh, Cody can have buddies. There you go. This one actually is a plant that really helps. I'm planting these in with my other sunflowers. Is that okay? Yeah, sunflowers and that can go together. But honestly, that's gonna grow into a big plant. I would, I would let it be. Uh, are there any others? No, not right now that I think would be a good idea. Let me look and figure out what's a good plan. Thank you for the call. Oh, yeah. No, I wasn't sure what the plan was for, and I was worried. These are so expensive for just little tiny seeds, so I'm trying to be really thoughtful. Yes, my love. It's so funny because I am not an exact person in any way, shape, or form. Um, I am a big picture person <laughs> and doing this experimenting with plants is definitely a details kind of thing. So I'm trying to be good about just learning, learning the process and knowing it's going to take a while before we're anywhere, even remotely close to self-sufficient or just, you know, sufficient in anything. <laughs> but it's been fun to, to do these things. I mean, obviously I'm not a full-time homesteader. Um, yeah. I'm just testing out the water, seeing what what might work for our family, what might what might not in our gardening. Oh, careful, my turtle. Uh, okay, Make one more in there. Okay. Now these, I'm not doing my same potty mix. I'm just doing potty mix. I'm not making my own. I just bought the potty mix. Um, the last batch I grew, I mixed my own. But it's kind of a busy season. I've been filming a lot um, of um, short films for OnlyFans. And I have been doing a ton on Patreon for our self-care topics and our burlesque. So I'm kind of busy. And I'm going to be busy next month quite a bit. So I'm just keeping it easy. up now to then see if we can get a little earlier of a harvest. I'm trying to space out my pea harvest so that we get delicious num nums. Okay. Alright, biscuits. I'm literally stepping through our little greenhouse area. Okay, here I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna turn this around. Alrighty. So you're gonna laugh at me because this is my dining table. But on a tarp, we have. Alrighty, biscuits, that is our gardening for the day. I'm glad that you biscuits love to come along with me 
as I kind of experiment with what's it like to not just garden, but really try to homestead garden, be self-sustainable. And this is literally just baby steps into that for us. But I thought I'd bring you along from the start and we will just see how it goes this season. Do we actually grow enough to feed ourselves this year? Time will tell. I'll see you in the next video. And of course, as always, I will see you on Patreon. Come join us for such a beautiful community.